So like the title of the video says, we're actually going to be covering the meta. And what do I mean by the meta? Uh, so effectively in the game currently, um, so this may actually date this video a bit, um, depending on when you watch it, but currently there's the viral heat meta in Warframe. And basically what this means is that in the vast majority of situations, not all, there are obviously many situations where you want to take certain builds or certain type of weapons out but in the vast majority you're taking a status setup with viral and heat damage um the reasons for this are somewhat somewhat numerous like there, there's a lot of reasons why this is good um but what i'm gonna kind of go over today is why it's good um so I am going to get into some numbers and effectively what I want to do is I kind of want to shed some light on these statuses and to show why why you're probably taking viral and heat. You, you might have heard it's better, but you may or may not know why it's better. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm just going to kind of try to show that a little bit um, and explain away some of the mysteriousness of it all. Um, cause I think honestly, it's, it's not horrifically imbalanced with a small few tweaks. They could actually bring it down into kind of acceptable levels. Um, cause it's, it's not honestly that far off. So let's go ahead and jump into it and I'm not going to cover everything. I'm not going to cover a lot of topics and I'll tell you when I'm not going in depth on a specific topic. Um, you may have to look it up yourself or I may include it in a later video. I don't know yet how exactly I'm going to handle it, but I do want to try to move through the topics because I am a long-winded person. So I'm trying to condense that as much as I can for you guys, but let's go ahead and start. Um, the first thing you guys need to know about, and most of you probably do know about this, is that damage and damage types really, really matter. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's go ahead and come down here come down here and look at the uh, the damage table for warframe so whenever you look at this you're gonna have these plus and minuses this is effectively how much bonus damage you deal now there is a massive exception to how this works and that is the fact that out of basically all the types out of all the types of you know defense an enemy can have there are very specific um, bonuses that are way more important than other ones. And those have to deal with armor. So whenever an enemy has armor, and this will usually be categorized as ferrite, ferrite or alloy, um, damage bonuses work in a twofold manner. Now, what is this twofold manner? Effectively, whenever you have a damage bonus versus armor, not only do you get a damage bonus versus that armor, but you also mitigate a percentage of the armor. Now, how does this work? So effectively, let's say I have puncture damage, right? So against ferrite armor, I deal 50% more damage. So let's say I have, I don't know, let's say I have 100 damage dealt. Um, if this puncture was hitting somebody that had ferrite armor, Let's say they had, and I know this is kind of impossible, but let's say they had zero ferrite armor, so they didn't have any actual damage reduction, but their health type was ferrite, I would do 150 damage. So I get that bonus 50% on top of whatever I would normally deal. Now, on top of that, though, it actually reduces the amount of armor an enemy has. So what does that look like? Well, let's say an enemy has, I don't know, 600 armor. The standard armor um, calculation for damage taken is 300 divided by 300 plus whatever your armor is. So let's say you have 600 armor. Now, normally if you had 600 armor, it'd be 300 divided by 900, right? So that'd be one third or 33% damage taken. This means you have a 66% damage reduction. Now, if I had puncture type damage, I would remove 300 of that. So we would take our armor from being 600 to being 300. So now it's 300 divided by 600, which only equals 50% damage taken, 
which also only equals 50% damage reduction. So we went from having a 66% damage reduction to a 50% damage reduction by having this penetration. Um, now that doesn't seem like a super big jump, but when you're dealing a bunch of damage or when you're dealing with enemies that are, it, it's not gonna be the difference between, let's say 50 and 66%. It's going to be the difference between an enemy taking 3% damage or taking 10% damage. That's triple the damage, right? Um, and this is especially useful when you get into the actual counters where corrosive deals 75% more against ferrite and radiation deals 75% more versus alloy. So those penetrations get really, really big on those damage types and it makes it to where you can effectively ignore most, if not very, very close to all of an enemy's actual armor. That's the first big principle you kind of need to know and that's gonna set the groundwork for when we're talking about armor here in a second. Um, so the second big thing we're gonna to need to talk about is statuses. So the status rework for Warframe is actually really cool and really great and made all the statuses more or less better. Um, <clears throat> the only exception to that would probably be corrosive isn't as good as it used to be for whatever reason but it to me actually it's a little bit easier to use um, and that's a topic for another day but essentially we have a bunch of different types of statuses that are going to be um, involved in the meta now back in the day pretty much everybody ran corrosive why is that well it's the same reason why we kind of run what we run today and that is the fact that Grenier are much harder to kill than the infested or the corpus they just they just are they have way more armor and armor is a mitigation layer that not a lot of enemies have outside of the grenier and it stacks up to insane damage reduction amounts um, with heavy gunners and heavy uh, bombards of the corrupted var variety um, you have a lot of different things that get a lot of armor you're talking about 6,000 5,000 once you get into level like steel path levels and stuff um, you're talking about massive massive damage reductions um, so dealing with armor becomes very important so what are the ways you deal with armor effectively you either deal bleeds with true damage or you can do um, a kind of like a corrosive setup or a viral setup or a heat setup now that's those are the three exact topics we're going to talk about are heat viral and corrosive so corrosive used to be king it used to be really really good why is it not and i've seen a lot of people complaining that viral and corrosive have similar kill times or even faster kill times and all of this kind of kind of revolves around the math and the math is kind of complicated and ridiculous and i've tried to simplify it um, once we get to um, the next uh, tab over in the browser here um, but before i do that i kind of want to lay the groundwork for all the statuses so heat heat is way better than it used to be it deals 50 percent of the base damage um, of your weapon as heat and I'm not gonna go over what base damage is but you know effectively it's whatever your gun does at a base level um, there's a lot of exceptions and rules for what affects that uh, but I'm not gonna get into that here um, just know that it's dealt as heat damage over six seconds um, now this damage actually gets refreshed now some of the other statuses like for instance poison status effect from the toxin damage type doesn't actually get each of its statuses refreshed that basically means you hit a cap um, so if a weapon fires really really fast and has good status chance you may only ever get to 150 statuses for toxin you have an actual limit based on what your proc rate is um, with heat every single time you proc heat it will refresh all of the previous stacks allowing you to continuously build heat on a target this is really really powerful and it can stack up to insane damage numbers pretty quickly there is no limitation on the stacks as far as i know at least i've seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them in addition it now also um and i believe it did this before causes panic 
so panic lasts four seconds it is a hard cc enemies don't get to interact with you in addition to that it strips 50 percent of armor now this thing is insane it does a lot of stuff and it does them in very powerful ways um it's a lot of damage it's a lot of cc and it strips enemy defenses um the only mitigating factor for this in my opinion at least is the fact that the armor strip is multiplicative with other armor stripping techniques which means corrosive and heat are multiplicative with each other the same thing with corrosive projection so this effectively means just using these percentages you can get the armor down really low but you'll never 100 percent strip it unless you have some sort of mod that allows you to remove flat amounts and i think that's a really healthy way to do it i just in my opinion that this status is a little over the top and it's probably the reason for i i i think it's probably the reason for the imbalance in the meta a little bit um but moving on from heat we have viral now what is viral effectively whenever and this thing is ridiculous but whenever you uh proc this you do a hundred percent more damage with the first stack and then once you get to 10 stacks you do 325 percent more damage now this is multiplicative with literally any type of damage that you're dealing and you basically take what you should have dealt so if we had dealt a hundred damage to an enemy we would have dealt 425 damage so that is 325 percent more than whatever you were doing before so it is really really powerful it is just a flat amount that you get though um really really good not much else to it um, but we're going to see some interesting interactions with enemy and damage types and a lot of that once we get to the next tab. Um, but let's go ahead and go over corrosive. So corrosive reduces armor on an enemy. This stacks up to 10 times for 80% armor reduction. This is multiplicative with heat. What does that mean though? Well basically what that means is if we have full stacks of corrosive, you're going to reduce the enemy's armor by 80%. Now, if you reduce it by the full amount of heat, which takes six seconds to proc up to that 50%, you're actually only going to reduce the armor by 90%. So basically, you cut the remainder in half. So if you have 80% armor reduction, that leaves you 20% left. With heat, that cuts it in half, so you have 10%. So effectively, corrosive is multiplicative with heat, and it loses a lot of its bite because of that. It doesn't have this huge synergy with heat that maybe viral does. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the damage comparisons, and I'm gonna set some ground rules for how I kind of did this and explain some things just so you know we're all on the same page. So First off, um, when we're talking about these, I'm really only talking about Grenier, and we're talking about Ferrite and Alloy armor types. I, I don't think it's super important to talk about the other factions, at least right now, because it's really easy to kill them. Heart of Demos helps a little bit with that, because enemies seem to be resistant to statuses, and they, some stuff just doesn't work, and they one-shot you. So there's a little bit of mystery still left in Demos, at least for me. Um, but for the rest of the star chart, and for 99% of the activities you're going to be doing, this is going to be extremely pertinent. Um, so just keep in mind, I've done a lot of tests on all this kind of stuff, and this is more often when you see people talking about armor and what's good or bad, you're usually going to be talking about a situation where enemies are corrupted, or you're talking about heavy gunners, or you're talking about bombards, something really, really beefy. Um, in addition to that, um, these numbers are simplified. Um, so is it likely that we see in this column, for instance, that it's just a viral damage type? No, you're not often going to ever just have a viral damage type that you're hitting an enemy with. And over here, we actually start having some combinations, viral and heat, corrosive and heat and stuff like that. Still very unlikely. You're going to have impact. You're going to have slash. You're going to have radiation. You're going to have heat. Whatever your weapon might have on it, it is going to be more complicated than I'm showing here. However, all of this will remain true to a large degree. 
to a large degree. So let's go ahead and talk about what these numbers mean up here at the top. These are our modifiers, and then we can talk about the chart. Um, so here we have armor reduction. This is effectively any sort of proc that will reduce the armor amount. Um, so over here, we see that we have heat versus armor. Now for these, I just say armor because they are type of armor agnostic. They don't care if it's alloy. They don't care if it's ferrite. It doesn't matter to them. Over here, where we have corrosive or possibly radiation, I will outright say which one it is. Um, and also keep in mind that some things may or may not appear in the graph that are on the, you know, are on the table, like radiation versus alloy, because I didn't think it was super important. But anyway, um, here we have um, the armor reduction amount. Um, so heat gives a 50% um, reduction in armor. Corrosive stacks up to 80% reduction. So we can see that the corrosives both proc 80% and then the heat procs a 50%. Now the second line is for viral procs only. So it's giving however much damage bonus that viral normally gives. So we can see here it's 325%. For the rest, it's null. Um, HP mod, this is how much bonus damage you do for having a damage type bonus against a health type um so here we are really gonna see these for viral um and heat is actually incorrect sorry about that um i didn't mean to have that in there um i copied that over sorry about that um but we see here that viral is uh Viral is the only one that's actually gonna have this and that isn't because we don't have a damage bonus versus types as corrosive or radiation right but i have a separate i have a separate line called and i call it armor pin that does both right so whereas you see here you're gonna have this uh you're gonna have this damage bonus for armor penetration right and this is gonna be what like f5 right so you're gonna have f5 in the armor reduction section but you're also gonna have it over here in the damage bonus section of the formula. And I'll leave that up for just a second so you guys can see that, so you know everything's on the up and up. Um, but just keep in mind, um, these formulas are not incredibly simple, but they're not exactly calculus either. Um, it's just no having the knowledge to, to parse it effectively. Um, so this armor penetration line is not only a damage bonus, but also an armor removal tool. Um, so we can see here very clearly that corrosive has an armor reduction tool and a double dipping armor reduction and damage bonus tool. So now that we kind of get what each of these lines are, we're going to be able to, I think, more effectively talk about um, what this graph means so we see very clearly here that viral starts very very high now why does this get a 75 percent damage bonus a that is straight up because we're talking about grenier here grenier have cloned flesh viral gets a bonus versus clone fle flesh i told you we weren't going to talk about corpus this is more about grenier so that's the reason why we have a 75 percent and also the reason why you know things aren't quite as simple as they look um, so viral starts off with a massive damage increase. So this is 750% roughly extra damage against this type of thing if an enemy had zero armor. Now we can see with the advent of armor going up, as armor goes up, our damage drastically goes down. And then we meet up over here around 1300-ish armor. And that's where our corrosive beats it, beats it out against ferrite armor so corrosive does beat ferrite out at around 1300 um it beats uh, viral out my apologies um now down here you're gonna see corrosive versus alloy really doesn't beat out viral so whenever you're attacking alloy viral just pretty much outright beats out alloy for a very very long time and then heat does okay but it never reaches the others, right? But it is something, it at least mitigates some of that armor reduction. Um, so we can see here that viral is very clearly kind of like a hedge between corrosive dealing with ferrite and with alloy armor. It's somewhere in between. We can clearly see that corrosive does very well 
against ferrite very well against ferrite now let's look at a slightly more complicated version and then we'll kind of talk about the conclusion so if i come over here and we talk about this status comparison Let, let's talk about viral in heat so if we have viral in heat we have a 50 percent armor reduction because of the heat then we have 325 percent bonus because of the viral and then a 75 percent hp mod because it's viral versus clone flesh this basically allows us to check a box in every single box except for this armor penetration double dip but that's actually okay because we already basically made our own double dip on top of this massive viral damage bonus so this thing is doing really really well and viral gets a lot a lot out of having a heat companion in its damage type mix up um, now over here you can see that if we add in heat to our corrosive it will take us from having that 80 percent to 90 percent so basically we cut armor in half again now if you look at the uh if you look at the yellow line here this is corrosive versus ferrite you can see that we do dip a bit um over here we are much flatter however it's not exactly like insane so at 6,000 armor we're at 116 117 percent damage um, if you come over here at 6,000 armor we're at 87 percent that's not like a huge huge difference it's like 20 percent or so Let's look at Viral. So Viral goes from 35% damage to 67%. That's almost double. That's almost double. So Viral Heat gets way more out of combining with each other than Corrosive Heat does. Um, and then Corrosive and Heat versus Alloy does even worse right so it doesn't do that well at all so we can see that viral and heat actually fudge the difference between um, corrosive heat very very well now that being said if you start getting into insane numbers like uh, like 10,000 20,000 armor you're doing like exhaustion runs and stuff like that maybe having a corrosive heat setup is super optimal in that environment the problem in just general gameplay though is the fact that running around with viral and heat is going to be better than corrosive and heat in most situations and it's not that much worse even in corrosive and heat's best situation so even if an enemy has a ton of ferrite armor it's not like viral heat's just going to be useless it's still going to be pretty good if you switch that to alloy which is the same faction it's gonna be a lot better um, and in general viral plus heat is just really good as a damage type everywhere else um, now viral does have some negatives like we can clearly see that viral does not do well against certain infested types um, so we see here infested right here is negative 50%. We have machine here that's negative 25%. But if you take all that and you realize we still get, you know, 4.25 times as much damage, that more than enough makes up for this stuff. And it's not exactly like corrosive is booming with all the things it's good at. So what does that mean in the end? That means we basically have a meta that develops around having viral and heat. I hope I've explained that fairly simply because this is actually really complicated. Um, it's, I don't want to say really complicated. It's really annoying to figure out how all of this stuff goes together. And in the end, I know most people just want to know the answer. So I kind of did some of the legwork. I had to search through some forums. I found, I actually found a really good thread. I'll link it in the uh, description below that helped me um, verify a lot of my numbers. And it actually did help me catch a math error as well. So kudos to that thread owner or creator, whatever you call it, OP. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, if I have missed anything or misrepresented anything, as always, let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.